Good morning, all you ADU enthusiasts. Derek, that ADU guy here. Thanks for taking the time to join me this morning. I'm going to talk about uh, the two different kinds of foundations that we can use for an accessory dwelling unit. So here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, kind of the go-to foundation for several reasons is a crawl space foundation. In a crawl space foundation, we have a footing and then we have a stem wall and then we put the floor on top of the stem wall. And it usually ends up being anywhere between 30 and 36 inches above grade, uh, which is a, a standard way of building and works really well for most cases. But on this accessory dwelling unit, we have the end user in mind. And the end user is gonna be uh, an elderly person, they're gonna move uh, the parents into this place and we're, we're gonna build with principles of age in place. And the principles of age in place are very low to no transitions. Uh, this place is gonna have a, a roll in, roll out shower and it's built um, an actual concrete slab with the footings built into it with a monolithic pour. And then the actual flooring is going to be the slab. So this is a, it's going to end up being a, a semi-polished concrete slab with some tool cut joints that are going to be grouted to make a really nice uh, floor that's going to be bomb proof, it's going to be pet proof, and more than anything, uh, as we age in place, we'll be able to get in and out of this accessory dwelling unit without climbing the average, which is three to five stairs to get onto a porch and in. Um, so to eliminate the, the need for stairs or a ramp, this is a slab on grade. I'm gonna do a quick walk around of this accessory dwelling unit uh, with a focus on the floor, and then we'll just do a lap around the outside just so everybody can take a look at kind of phase one of the framing process. So here's the, um, the interior. This is about a 500 square foot accessory dwelling unit. And you can see right now that the, the floor is done because it's a slab. It's a slab on grade. It was screeded, so it's already fairly polished. Uh, looking, this is where the, this is the bathroom. This is gonna be the roll in, roll out, shower. Nuck under here. Again, the, the floor, the finished floor is concrete. So we don't have a large staircase or a porch that we're gonna have to compete with. And although it's kind of hard to see now with uh, none of the finished site work done, this will all be uh, paved and it'll be up to the height of this front porch patio. And then there'll be a, a, a transitional break here coming into the accessory dwelling unit. So there's no, I'm just stepping right in. This again will be level when it's completed and there's not gonna be a big grade change out front. Again, kind of an age in place principle. So. When we're building an accessory dwelling unit, when we're designing an accessory dwelling unit, it's really important to have the end user in mind. In this instance, it's going to be set up for um, somebody to age in place where they're not going to have uh, a lot of grade, uh, excuse me, a lot of grade changes. So I hope that helped. Thanks for your time. Hope everybody's having a good day and take action and build an accessory dwelling unit. Thanks.